Hi YouTube, this is Betty with Scrap Passion 01 and I'm so excited to present to you guys my Facebook group's very first hop. Yay! I'm so excited about this hop. Um, the name of my Facebook group um, is Crafters with Artitude. And if you're interested in joining the Facebook group, um, you can go to uh, Facebook and send me a request. And I'll be happy, happy to have you join our lovely family. So, our first hop is titled Sip Tea and Clutch My Pearls. And as some of you may know who follow my channel, I love tea theme projects. I love shabby chic and stuff like that. So um, I thought it would be very becoming um, to do our first hop with that um, theme in mind. So I'm first in the hop and after my video you will go to Shatana's uh, video or to her channel. I will have everyone that is in the lineup for this hop I will have their links in the description box below so that you can follow accordingly. Also, I will be having a giveaway. I will be giving away a $25 gift certificate to the store of your choice. Um, the giveaway will be, I will do the drawing for that on October the 24th. But to be eligible for my giveaway, of course you have to be a subscriber, so please subscribe to my channel. And secondly, you have to watch everyone's video and leave a comment um, So, in order to be eligible. So, that is all the requirements for the giveaway. Let's get to the project. I'm going to move my name sign out of the way and get set up because it's kind of a big project. Um, I have two pr projects today to share with you. So, I'm going to get it situated and um, show you the first project. Now, um, my video may be a little shaky because I'm going to have to pick my iPad up and actually show it that way. Um, I don't know any other way to show it so that you can see it. So just sit tight. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, this is my first project. And I um, created a tool wreath. I love tools, so this is the perfect uh, project for me to do. So I wanted to give you a view of it so you can see it in its entirety. And then I'm going to pick up my iPad and go closer and just kind of explain to you what I did. So just hold on just a second and I'll come closer and let you see. So I'm going to start over here with the letters. I had some chipboard letters in my stash. And I used some shabby white Frentage um, embossing powder to color the chipboard letters. And I must say, this is going to be my new love. I love how that turned out. I love the fact that it gives it a little shine and it gives you the texture that you're looking for. So I love that. And on the edge of this A, I have a small, cute little um, measuring um, spoon. And I got that from a thrift store. It was silver and so I spray painted it pink. And on top of that, I used the Frentage um, Shabby White Embossing Powder. And on the top of the little spoon, it has the initial B on it. So I thought that was cute to add. And, I, you know, like I said, I got that from a thrift store. So I'm going to move down here to the little pink um, bow that I have here. So I made that pink bow from some satin ribbon in my stash. And I layered this cute blinged out bow on top of it just to bring it out a little more and then the center of the blinged out bow I have one of those Hobby Lobby um, centers in this in there so this um, blinged out bow I actually picked that up from a thrift store so I think that was a great find so I like how that turned out so um, moving over here to the right corner I just um, layered up some flowers from my stash this is a handmade flower. Someone actually made that white uh, flower for me. I can't remember who made it, but I wanted to use it on this project, but um, I had to take the centerpiece out and put in um, this pearl um, centerpiece just to make it flow with the project. And then just some array of flowers I have here. And then I added this cute little teapot um, stick pin and I can't remember where I got that. Um, if I can remember, I'll put it in the description box. But right now, I can't remember where I got it. 
but I also use some of this silver um, eyelash trim tucked down in the flower spray. And then I also included some pearl um, flower sprays. And we're supposed to have pearls um, somewhere on our project. So that's my pearls right there. And then I have another cute little pink flower there with a cute center. And some more of that eyelash trim with some cute um, ribbon with silver trimming. And the tool I picked up from Hobby Lobby as well. I used some pink and white tool. And I also used some white tool that has um, some glitter on it. Just to give it a little extra something. So I'm going to go out again and let you see it. So that's my first project. And I'm going to set up to show you my second project. Okay, this is my second project. I altered a uh, Michaels box and so let me show you what it looked like before I altered it. Okay, so the paper line that I used to alter this box, I used the Bella Rose uh, paper stack and um, I really love that paper. It is so, so shabby cute. I absolutely love it. And so I'm going to sit up and let you see it. So um, I do have my pearls on my projects. Um, my uh, pearls are actually in the um, trim. I couldn't think of it. It's actually in, inside, you know, like woven inside of the um, trim. So I got that trim from Hobby Lobby. And on top of the box, I'll start here. I put a frame on the top that I got from Michaels um, some time ago. And I told you, you guys, I'm loving that Frentage embossing powder. So I added it um, on the top of the frame just to give it a little bit more interest. And I have an image um, of a teacup um, inside of the frame. And that came from a cutout from the Tiny Treasures uh, Tilda paper. So that's what I used there. And then I used some Wild Orchid Craft flowers there in the corner, along with that same tool that I used on my wreath. I uh, put stickles on the uh, flowers. So I have those um, same flowers over here with the tool and the stickles. And I included another one of those um, teapot stick pins. So that's the box, and I'm going to turn it around and let you see but before I do that let me show you the very front of it I put that same um, bow from that satin ribbon um, on the front and then I put a pearl um, center of that um, bow there and then I trim the whole thing out in pearls so this whole box is just trimmed out with pearls so I must say, I did not clutch my pearls. I choked the pearls because it is all over. Let me turn it around. Let's see here. So here's the side of it. And I spray painted the box pink. And, and it's trimmed all the way out. And here's the other side. Trying to use one hand here. And so I'm gonna lift that up. And that's trimmed out too. So I like how this turned out. This was so much fun. I love altering boxes. I just enjoy doing it. And so the inside, I was gonna cover it with paper, but I decided to just spray paint it pink and in inside. And the paint um, chipped, you know, and I was like, oh, I need to cover it. But I actually like that that black, the paint, I just took it all the way off because it was chipped. The paint was chipping. And I actually like that that black was peeping through. To me, that gave it more of a shabby feel for the inside. So I decided to keep it as it was um, because I really like the look of that. I like the chipped look because it gives it a shabby old uh, appearance so I kept it like that I also just put one coat of spray paint because I wanted that black 
to kind of seep through a little bit to give it more of an age type look um, in, in the inside of the box. So that's the inside and the bag, I, you know, is covered too in the paper. So those are my two projects. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now you can just hop on to Shatana's uh, YouTube uh, channel and see what she has created for inspiration. And I'll have pictures at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for hopping with me. Bye.